even know where to start with you. I mean, do you even know who you're watching right now? What you doing, love? Oh, Lord. <laughs> All right, so Renegades React, and we're going to be looking at the Tracer versus Scout Rap Battle by, by JT Machinima. Hmm. Interesting. Overwatch versus TF2. I mean, it's it was bound to happen. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, team-based first-person shooters, well-defined uh, character roles and capabilities. It makes sense. Four primary classes. Yep. You know, you've Offense, got... Offense, defense, uh, support, and... Uh, What's the fourth one in Overwatch? Let's see. Is that a like healer? No, support. Is no, healer. Support. Uh, offense, defense, support... Uh, Build, uh, builder, I believe. Hmm. Uh, I figured that would be under defense. Okay, yeah, that's right. Anyway, yeah. um, but uh, I mean, the comparisons have been made since uh, Overwatch really premiered, so it makes sense to have the two fastest tank, tank, yeah. Okay. Offense, tank. defense, tank, and support. support. Makes okay. sense. Tank is in defense? Well, tanks can really be used both offensively and defensively yep. in game, depending on how good the person is with uh, oh. with that character. Say, Reinhardt, who has this killer charge attack. Yep. Uh, and someone's uh, someone is playing as Torbjorn, and is just, like, decimating you with his turret. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, Reinhardt can just rush over there. Take out, you know, push Torbjorn back and then smack the turret about two or three times, kill it, and then kill Torbjorn. Yep. That happened to me twice in a game. Ooh. But I got him back whenever I went molten core while he was charging me, and he died, and he actually rolled past me. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> but that was fun. But, so, Tracer, who apparently is displaced in time, and so can basically teleport move forwards and backwards in time versus the scout who had to be fast so that he actually got to eat <laughs> seriously uh youngest of seven brothers in boston oh well yeah. you uh you had to be faster you didn't get a whole lot to eat so yeah this is this is gonna be a good rap battle i think so too um We want to. Do we want to try to pick a? Well, place your bets. Okay. All right. Uh, in terms of, uh, in terms of being from the streets, I mean, you can't beat Scout. No, you can't beat Scout. And plus, I've I've seen some guys from Boston who are really good at rapping. Like for instance, Slane is a really good rapper. Marky Mark. You no. okay? Your guy pass just got revoked there, Micah. That was a joke <laughs> of of Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Yeah. Okay. Feel it, feel it. That was a joke. Just joking. That was okay. Joke. But honestly, from Boston, there are uh, there are, are some really good rappers. J uh, J Duels, Jeremy Dooley's actually a pretty good rapper. Hmm. Uh, there's but there's a lot of uh, rappers in the Boston underground who are actually really really good. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, House of Pain. I mean, come on. Uh, the I mean. Danny Boy Smith, uh, uh, DJ Lethal, and uh, and Everlast. I mean, come on, those three right there are just uh, they they're arguably the best rap cr crew to come out of Boston. How do people come up with these names? Anyway, I feel like they just get some really old DC comics and just. Eh. Well, Danny Boy Smith, you know the old hit, the old oh Danny Boy, the yeah. pipes, the pipes are DJ Lethal. I mean, you know, Lethal. And then yeah. Everlast, and, and Everlast, like, he, he, he just, he, I think he said he liked to box a lot, and he always wore Everlast. Oh, okay. So, I think that's how he got it. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, so, sounds like you're picking Scout. I am picking Scout. That, and don't get me wrong, I, I'm pretty sure Tracer's got some pretty sick stuff to say herself, but honestly, based upon what I've seen, she's not much of a, she's not much of a trash talker in, in, in the, in like the brutal sense yeah, she's she's more playful. She's more of a trickster, whereas the scout scout's is just, just mean. Scout, he's he's a yeah. troll. He's he's a quick little troll that you just can't seem to swat. Yep, <laughs> not so tough now. All you fat cakes. Here's a schematic for you. My ass. <laughs> Fjord now. I'll throw it a second beating. Absolutely free. 
Yeah, no, yes. I think Scout's got this. <laughs> oh, man. Micah, any I, bets? I got nothing. I know pretty much next to nothing about both characters. All right. All righty. Uh, Never played either game. Two, so. two bets for Scout. Uh, Micah abstains, which okay. is fair. Uh, let's get right in there. Let's do it. JT Machine. Meet the Scout. Here we go now. It is. I have done nothing but teleport bread for three days. was impressive yeah that, that was, was very that was impressive. super slick i kind of honestly i really think that was the most well-balanced like rap battle that i've seen that anyone's ever produced like because really they were almost like it was like a harmony with one another yeah they were just bouncing well, back right. and forth well that's what well they're both almost the same character they both have the little accent quirk about yep. them they're both i mean ridiculously fast both ridiculously fast um <clears throat> Tracer, Tracer, they're both sort of rocking the pop gun. 
well, type the, feel. Well, they are, but tracers is more of like a like a like a submachine gun, whereas whereas uh, scouts scouts, scouts got like, a scatter gun and a pistol. Yeah, which no, no, don't get me wrong. Scat, I I like a scatter gun, especially close range. Oh man, uh, I was gonna say rush in, be like, hey buddy, oh yeah. are, are those yo, your, what's up? I was like, let's see what your insides look like. Pow. Yep. And and then of course got the baseball bat as well, which Tracer oh, really doesn't man. have a good me- Tracer doesn't have a melee weapon. She's just got like uh she gun butts you. That's yeah, it. Just pistol whip. Yeah. Yeah, but well, in terms of how the rap went, I mean it was even all the way through. I mean Oh yeah. They both had some good stingers on both ends. It's true. But I I kind of feel like this was intentionally well written and balanced in such a way that it's really just highlighting the characters, and then they're just like cry havoc and unleash the comment section and just let Pretty everyone much. else fight it out Pretty down much. there. I, you know, I buy that. I would too. Uh, I honestly, I, re- I really think that's what. Well, JT Machinima. I mean, these these video game rap battles. He's got a lot of them on here. We should. We really Sonic. should have done the lyric video. Oh, that's there, right. Because then we could have actually like caught more of the the jokes that's right because that's see that. my that is my one syn- thing yeah my synaptic gaps are pretty wide so i didn't catch everything I, yeah caught, i caught a bit i caught a bit of it i caught most of it I, uh, think. I caught i caught quite a bit of it um my uh for me i yeah the lyric video would i think would have benefited a lot more yeah uh we'll have to remember that for next time yeah next time though um uh, but, but in terms of it as shoot. far as i can see I gotta call this one a draw because it was pretty much even yeah. all the way mm-hmm. through. Both characters said good lines, both and both of them drew back to a lot of the lines that they're known for. I mean, it's I true. Like, that deja vu line uh, it, that Tracer said. I, I've heard that. I can't tell you how many times I've heard that in game. It's like, yeah. ever get the feeling of deja vu? Yeah, and <laughs> and. <laughs> And, and, both and I mean, Scout action. pulled so many lines. Yeah, he did. Uh, well, oh. both li- well, not they're both real lightning quick in real life. And or and in, the thing is, game, like, rather. Scout has so many lines of dialogue in game, because the thing is, Scout doesn't shut up. Yeah, Tracer does as well, but if you unlock them. You have yeah. to, you have to unlock the lines of dialogue uh, with loot crates and everything, which which is a weird choice. Well, I think. well, on, well, honestly, it sometimes it's ran, and I think I I forget I forget if you can buy you can buy stuff, but for me, you know, and also Tracer brought up the or also Scout brought up the uh, controversy about oh, Tracer. Oh yeah, and yeah. I was just like, oh, <laughs> yeah. I didn't that know whole they were gonna overblown that. thing. That whole that was that was thing. great. Yeah, yeah that. Um, at least my butt doesn't start a controversy, Ooh. which which is true. I mean, Scout. The only thing that really would cause controversy is him like bonking people in the head. Yeah, like that's a that's a bet that's supposed to be used in a game. He's like, it is a game, Team Fortress Two. Yeah, you ever heard of it? If you haven't, you should play it. Bang! I make it look easy. But Bonk! Uh, so I I one thing I guess I don't like though is that when Tracer was like, you hit like a girl. Um. I have, in fact, been punched in the face by girls before. <laughs> um, Twice. They, on camera. Well, those are the times you all know about. They hit quite well, actually. So that's really not an insult. Yeah. Well, and uh, you would figure that was, well, it doesn't I've, make, it doesn't. Well, I've heard that, I've heard that the smaller the fist, there's no the reason, harder the punch can be. There's well, no reason for Tracer to use that as an insult. Because so she is, like, if you're applying the same amount of force by applying it over a smaller surface area, the impact ratio is much greater. I mean, you're. So pressure is force over an area. Yeah. So by applying the same force over a smaller area, you you really get more damage. You get more pinpointed damage, which is why you know if you hit, you know uh, if you hit something with a hammer versus, you know, hit stabbing or, it with a knife or a pick. Yeah. yeah. The damage is way different. Well, blunt force trauma. I, uh, in terms of in terms of Fist size. I mean, Brock Lesnar, he wears five X gloves. Dude's, dude's big got, old ham fist. Dude's, dude's got lunch boxes for hands. Jeez, uh, pretty much. And uh, and a Ronda, stupid sword tattoo. And a stupid sword tattoo. Must Ronda, mention stupid sword tattoo. Jimmy Ron- Duresta made that in a video. No, so uh, we were we were at a con today. 
Ah. And they had the uh, the little pop figures. <laughs> they had one of Brock Lesnar with, with the stupid the sword, sword tattoo. tattoo. Yes. I was so happy. But it's bad. Well, uh, okay, let's apply I the same logic. I wish they painted him red because he would have been a Brock Lobster. It would have been great. Now, let's apply the same logic to this. Ronda Rousey has the smallest hands in the UFC. Mm-hmm. And there was a time before she got knocked out by Holly Holm, she was knocking she was knocking women out with her punches. Yeah. And she was getting better with her boxing. I mean, by no means like she was like a boxing pugilist like Holly Holm, but she but the amount of force that she could generate from just one punch was was really good. That's just like Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor's hands aren't that big, but yeah. yet because he is so physically strong, he he hits he hits pretty much like a welterweight, even though he's a light, even though he's a featherweight. Yep. I mean, he hits like he's got an extra forty pounds on him. <laughs> but yeah, yep. It's yeah. all it's all about how much of an area that force is distributed over. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which, yeah, I. Yeah, and I, Wind, Wyndham has tiny little fists. It's like little. I, I was gonna say what. I was gonna say, were you punched in the face by these women, or was it? Or was oh, it we're not stomach? getting into that. I'm just saying that in general, women hit just fine. Okay, it's well, true. Well, I, okay. I, I've never really like been hit, hit by a by a by a woman. I, uh, you know, not punched. I've been hit with a cane. What? Girl got mad. What's girl, your do, Nate? <laughs> like, what? Girl got mad at me in theater class because she. Okay, the entire class. Did you try and throw her down the stairs like everyone else at Nakatomi no. High School? Shut the yes! hell up. Shut the hell up. Yes! Enough of that. No. 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 We were in theater class. This girl had been a jerk to me all semester long. All semester long. And we were putting on uh, we were putting on a production mm-hmm. uh, at the end of the school year. And it involved me uh, playing an old man. And I had and I had a cane that I walked out with. It was an old wooden cane. Oh no! And her name was Heidi Gruber. No, oh, shut up! Shut up! No, no. <laughs> her name. Her name was. This her, joke. Don't 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 give her actual her, name. Her Heidi name was actually Sheena. Better. Her name was actually Sheena Gruber. No. Von Gruber. I, I am not saying Von her last. No, I'm not saying her last name. No, don't say her last name. Okay. But Von her name Gruber, was Sheena. That's really, Von Gruber. That's really good. <laughs> anyway, she called me all these nasty things like during the semester, you know, and you know she said she kept calling me fat. Like she dirty kept, American or no? We've got your wife hostage or did Micah? Micah, <laughs> I swear I will lob this battery pack at I'm you. I'm done. If you don't stop. I'm done. Please. So, so assault with You're battery. Tape a pistol to your back and shoot me with it. God dang it. Okay. <laughs> anyway, okay. Short. Long story short, she called me a bunch of mean things. I say one bad thing to her, automatically to her, that gives her ground to pretty much kill me almost. And she takes the cane uh, from the prop room, walks up behind me, and smacks me in the back of the head with it. Dang. Good amount. Good amount of force, too. Just like, wow. I turn around, and, well, the, the funny thing is, uh, the cane actually, the top of the cane, which wasn't that sturdy anyhow, yep. snaps off, and the top of the cane goes flying. And as a buddy of mine put it, Tommy, who was sitting out in the, who was sitting out, <laughs> uh, it, it was break time, and he was sitting out in the, uh, in the uh, chairs where the audience would sit. Yep. And as he put it, he heard crack, and then all of a sudden in the sky he sees. And then thud, thud, thud. Oh, that's so cinematic. <laughs> and, like, and, uh, and he was just like. It's like the ending to a movie. And he was just like, he was just like. Best acting award goes to what? the cane. And, what, Man. And, and, she, and he was like, what the hell was that? And all of a sudden, she's, she calls, she's like, she's like saying, you mother, how could you say it to me? And I'm like, after all the shit you've said to me this year, and for me to say one thing to you, one thing, like, you, think, you resort you resort to smacking me I in the back of the head I think we're getting away from the fact cane. that you just assaulted me with a stick. Yeah. Man, Nakatomi High School was hardcore. J.J. Kelly High School. It's no longer in service. As a matter of fact... Well, yeah, I, I got blown <laughs> up! <laughs> yes. Shut up. Oh, y'all just shut the hell up. After you threw that guy down the stairs and... He had man. C4 strapped to his chest, man, destroyed you know. the first floor, and, and the he, rest of it just fell. He came back, and Carl Winslow shot him. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget that it's Carl Winslow. Who's Carl Winslow? Carl yeah. Winslow show. Oh, yeah. No, okay. So in Ghostbusters, Reginald when, Vell Johnson, you dumbass. That's when his name. I, when they're in jail, I love failing. No, that's Carl Winslow. It's Carl. It's Winslow. Carl Winslow. Reginald Vell Johnson. That's his real name. Okay. I know you call him Carl Winslow, but which come on, is man. which is Spanish for Carl Winslow. <laughs> Micah, where is this coming from? <laughs> I don't know. I'm tired. Things no, happen. That's good. That was good. <laughs> That was good. I got to oh. give you props on <laughs> it's just bad. Oh, this is getting out of hand. All right, okay. everyone. On that bombshell, it's time to end. <laughs> everyone have a good night. We'll see you soon. <laughs>